Hey guys, welcome to another video session on Checkpoint Firewall training. So today I'm going to cover everyone's favorite topic. So if you guys have guessed it like it's about troubleshooting, so you're right my friends. So in this video, I'm going to cover some of very interesting scenarios that I have troubleshooted and I'm quite positive that you will guys learn something new. So stay tuned guys. So in the first scenario guys, so let's suppose you have a firewall which is in running state and everything is working fine there are no complaints users are happy suddenly something bad happens and your firewall is not in the running state and after your investigation you found out that there is something wrong with the hardware now you have to raise the rma so once you receive your rma device and you actually configure it with the same configuration of your previous firewall and after that once you add it into the network like you do the cabling after doing the cabling you will be surprised that okay so no traffic traffic is working after doing the cabling and you will think okay what the hell is going on i'll show you guys how this can happen and how you can troubleshoot this now let's understand guys how we will encounter this problem in our network so at first we will understand a flow from our LAN device towards a destination which is on the van side so we will understand how this flow is working with our already running firewall so we will basically understand what is the flow looks like when the traffic is passing through with our already running firewall so these letters which you are seeing on the screen these are basically the mac addresses of the devices now i know that the mac addresses are actually a hexadecimal values but as i'm a little bit lethargic i have denoted these mac addresses as a letters so in this flow this machine is going to connect to destination ip dot a dot a dot eight and it is a ping traffic so from the layer 3 header perspective we know that the source ip will be the ip of this machine which is 40.1 and the destination ip would be this a dot a dot a dot eight so from the layer 2 header perspective we know that the mac address would be the mac address of this machine which is a and the destination mac address would be the mac address of our default ip mac address which is b in this case so at first the traffic will move from this machine towards the default gateway device which is router in this case okay now the traffic has reached this router and we know that router works as a layer 3 device and its functionality is to check the destination ip and then check the routing table to know that the traffic has to leave from which interface and what is the next hope ip so in this case the router has a default route and the next hope ip is this ip which is actually the ip of the firewall and the leaving interface is eth 0 by 0 which is this interface now this is true for every device which works at layer 3 so when the traffic switch from like one interface to another interface now in this case we receive the traffic from eth01 and we are leaving that traffic on eth0 by 0 that device actually do the layer 2 had a rewrite so layer 2 had a rewrite means guys it actually changed the mac addresses so your layer 3 header always remains the same but when the traffic receive on any device which will do the routing it will will always do this layer to had a rewrite so now the source ip will be the mac address of the interface from where the traffic is leaving so in this case the traffic is leaving from eth 0 by 0 so we'll take the mac address as c and the destination mac address would be of the device which has the next hope ip address so in this case this 172.16.1.254 is the ip which is on the firewalls eth1 okay once this router know the next stop ip of the device for this route it know that for the destination mac address i have to use the mac address against this ip and to know that it will first check its arp table and if in the arp table it has the mac address of that ip it will use the same mac address as the destination to form this layer 2 header so once this layer 2 header has been like written the traffic will move to towards the firewall. Now when firewall will do the decapsulation of this layer 2 header it will see okay the destination mac address is its mac address and it has to process the traffic now this traffic then firewall will check against its policies whether it has the policy to allow this traffic or not so in this case we are sending like icmp 
we are sending ping traffic so it will check from source this one towards destination this one and services icmp whether i have the policy or not so when it has the policy and it also has the routing information the traffic will pass from this firewall towards this destination now what happens next is the device which we were running earlier our firewall we got a problem with it and we had to raise the rma for that device now we have received the new device in the rma and we basically put the same configuration on this device like we put the same software version we put the same routing information same ip addresses and same policy now if i take example of same flow ping from this machine towards this machine so we know that okay the traffic will initiate it from this machine and it will come on our this router and we know that this router will check its routing table and and that's how it know okay this traffic has to leave from this interface it will do the layer to had a rewrite it will choose the source mac address as c and for the destination mac address it know the and for the destination mac address it know the next hope ip and for that ip it will again check its arp table and from the arp table it know the destination mac address would be d now when this traffic will reach this firewall and this firewall will do the decapsulation of layer 2 header and we'll see okay what is the destination mac address it will see okay this is d but my interface has mac address e if we see what actually happened here guys so this in this layer 2 had a rewrite so the destination mac address is still being used as the the mac address of the previous firewall so when we actually change the device now even we put the same software like same configuration same ip addresses configuration but we know that this device is another device and the mac address will be different but when this router is sending the traffic from its this interface it, it's doing the layer 2 rewrite it's actually using the same mac address because in its arp table it still has that entry now as a result this firewall will keep on discarding the packets until this router is using the mac address of the previous device in the destination okay now let's simulate this issue in the lab setup so that we can see that if you encounter this same issue what commands you can use so from my lan machine i'm going to ping this a.a.8 ip and i expect that this traffic would work because now we have like our already running firewall in the net so as expected guys the ping traffic is working so now we are going to capture the traffic on the firewall basically i want to see this segment like what are the mac addresses are being used as of now now if i press enter here so we can see that we are capturing this traffic now if i stop this capture i can see that okay the traffic is going from this source ip towards this destination ip and the source mac address which is being used on this segment the source mac address is this one and destination mac address is this one now if i notice the source mac address it is ending with cc007000 and if i go back to the router so if i do show interface eth 0 by 0 so with this command we can see the mac address of this eth 0 by 0 zero interface and we can see that it is the same mac address which we saw there as the source mac address so it also ends with cc007000 now if i go back to firewalls cli and i can see okay the destination mac address which is being used is this one which ends with 0001 so on the firewall if i do if config eth1 so i can see that the mac address which we can see in the tcp dumb capture it's the mac address of our eth1 interface now to replicate this issue i'm going to change the mac address of the eth1 interface from this mac address to this mac address now if i press enter so the only thing that we have changed in this scenario is the mac address the firewall still has like same ip address same configuration so we have kind of replicated the, the same scenario where you actually have changed the firewall so the new firewall has the same configuration but the mac address is new now if i'm going to ping the same destination from our lan machine now i could expect okay the ping is not 
working so if i go back to the firewall again and if i do the tcp dump again so we can see that okay if i stop this tcp dump we can see that the source mac address is this one and the destination mac address is actually the previous mac address so if i do the if config in the if config eth1 outcome i can see the mac address is this one because we have changed it but still the traffic which we are receiving from the router the destination mac address is the previous mac address that owns by the previous firewall now if i go back to the router and i want to see okay why firewall is still using the previous mac address now if i do show arp on the router so we can see in its arp table so this ip 16.1.254 which is the ip on eth1 interface of the firewall it still has the previous mac address and it's still going to keep it until this aging will not expire now in most of the scenarios when we when we try to troubleshoot any issue on the checkpoint firewall so we always check the logs under the smart console but in this scenario it is interesting to note that you will actually not see any logs for the traffic which is getting dropped now this traffic logs which you are seeing here is actually from the previous attempts when the traffic was working through the firewall now the another very popular command which we use to troubleshoot issues in the checkpoint firewall is your fwctl z debug command now even i use this command in this scenario so we can see that okay we cannot see any outcome here that means this command even is not helping us to identify what is the issue so now in this case to identify what is the problem we actually have to do the tcp dump command and you need to ensure you are also using e because this is why we are also seeing the mac addresses in this outcome so you have to compare the mac address the destination mac address and you have to compare the mac address on the interface where traffic is hitting so if you see that the destination MAC address is different then what is the MAC address on the interface of the firewall. So this is how you can identify this problem. Now there are two ways to solve this problem guys. So first of all on this router what we can do is we can actually clear the ARP table. So after doing that all these like already learned entries will be gone and this router will again learn what is the MAC address of this interface. So now this first solution of like clearing the ARP table now we know that this is easy to implement on the devices which is managed by our infra like this router now if we think carefully so we know that once we will have a new firewall we'll not see the new mac address only on one interface on every interface there will be a new mac address now if the on the van side your firewall is connected to isp device and, and there you also want to clear the ARP table. So actually you cannot do it by yourself. So the second solution that we have will actually help you in that case. Okay, still I can see that, okay, on our LAN device, the ping is not working. So on the firewall device, if I'm going to execute this command, which is ARP ping, and I have to mention the interface, and the ip on that interface so by executing this command so it will actually refresh the arp entry for this ip on the connected devices so if i press enter and if i go back to a lan device so we can see that the ping has started working and if i go back to the router and if i press show r again and now i can see that for this now i can see that for this ip which is on the firewall it has got the new MAC address that we set by doing the ARPing. So you can, so now anytime when you will face this problem, so instead of clearing the ARP table, you can also use this command. Now this is all for this video guys. We'll see another troubleshooting scenario in the next video. Thank you for watching this video.